Jack Patrick Dorsey was born on November 19, 1976 in St. Louis, Missouri. That's where the young Jack grew up, together with his parents Tim and Marsha Dorsey and his two brothers Daniel and Andrew. Not too much is known about Dorsey's family, other than what they share on their Twitter accounts, of course. Which, in Dorsey's father's case, isn't that much. Anyway, young Jack soon grew an interest in trains, maps and couriers. He once said, I loved couriers. You had this transfer of physical information happening throughout the city and the world. Someone picking up the package, putting it in a bag, going somewhere, taking it out of the bag, giving it to someone else. I thought that was so cool. I wanted to map it, to see that flow on a big screen. Having joined his high school computer club, Dorsey turned his obsession with courier services into a product. At the age of 15, he wrote a dispatch software that is still being used by some taxi companies. Pretty impressive, right? By the way, Dorsey went through a punk phase as a teenager and had blue and spiky hair for a while. Even now, he sees himself as a punk. But not in such a literal way anymore. Before Dorsey started his job as CEO of Twitter, he also got rid of his nose ring to look a bit more like a CEO. After two years at the Missouri University of Science and Technology, Dorsey changed to NYU and moved to New York. And like so many other tech titans, he did not finish his degree and dropped out one semester before graduating. By the way, Dorsey's time in New York still had a big impact on his life. Most importantly, he came up with the idea for Twitter while studying at NYU. And then another fun fact. He loved the city so much that at one point he said he would run for mayor one day. But later on he changed his mind and said he wouldn't be good at it. Dorsey has stated before that he's not very good at face-to-face -face interactions. Maybe that's why a politician's job is not for him. In 1999 Dorsey moved from New York to Auckland, California. Dorsey came back to his Twitter idea in 2000. Inspired by the Russian blogging service LiveJournal and AOL Instant Messenger, Dorsey wondered if the short online status messages could be shared with friends or a bigger audience even. Brainstorming and sketching out ideas only took another six years and Twitter was officially born. Together with the entrepreneurs Biz Stone, Evan Williams and Noah Glass, Dorsey co-founded the microblogging service in March 2006. To be precise, on March the 21st, 2006, Dorsey sent out the very first tweet ever. By the way, Dorsey has always been a man of many ideas and Twitter isn't the only company he's the CEO of. In 2010, he founded the startup Square. The company developed a credit card reader, which you can simply plug into a phone. It's therefore very easy to use and will, according to Dorsey, revolutionize mobile payments. Back to Twitter. After struggling in the beginning, the platform got really popular. In 2012, the service had over 100 million users. One year later, when the company was first listed on the stock exchange, Dorsey became a billionaire. Let's skip forward to today. By the end of 2020, Twitter had 340 million monthly active users, 186 million of which are daily active users, and a total of 500 million tweets sent out each day. But Twitter has also been criticized over the years, especially for not controlling and containing the spread of misinformation on the platform. For example, malicious bots and accounts tried to manipulate the US presidential election in 2016. In the 2020 election, Twitter tried to fight back, trying to label misinformation and delete fake accounts. In January 2021, Twitter even decided to ban former US President Donald Trump from the platform. After Trump supporters stormed the US Capitol, Twitter decided that Trump's tweets had breached their rules against the incitement of violence and permanently banned the then president. Okay, sure, you might have heard most of this, but what about the following facts? His favorite Twitter user is Elon Musk. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is not only very active on Twitter, he's also known for his sometimes controversial tweets. Jack Dorsey doesn't seem to mind and said in 2019, I like how Ed Elon Musk uses Twitter. He's focused on solving existential problems and sharing his thinking openly. I respect that a lot 
and all the ups and downs that come with it. Musk replied right away. Elon Musk also openly supported Dorsey whenever he was criticized as CEO. It's a picture-perfect tech billionaire bromance. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg prepared a goat for Jack Dorsey. Dorsey's fellow tech entrepreneur, Facebook's founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg once invited him over for dinner. That year, Zuckerberg had given himself a personal challenge. He only wanted to eat animals he killed on his own. So this is what Dorsey said in an interview with the Rolling Stone. Zuckerberg raised the goat, then killed it with a stun gun and knife and sent it to the butcher afterwards. Once cooked in the oven, it was served, but the goat was cold. Dorsey remembered that he only had salad that night. Dorsey was once fired as CEO of Twitter. In 2008, Twitter's board wasn't happy with how Dorsey ran things. The platform had problems, the site crashed repeatedly and Dorsey was said to have left the office early in order to do yoga, meditate or follow his interest in fashion design. He simply didn't seem committed enough. But when things got even worse under the following CEOs, Dorsey took over once again in 2015. He has been the CEO ever since. But there are still some Twitter investors who would like to see him go. And that's because he's also acting as the CEO of Square. Dorsey's critics say Twitter needs a CEO who can commit all his time to the company. Well, as we all know, with great power comes great responsibility. And even though the self-made billionaire built an empire for himself, he also makes mistakes. For example, in 2018, Dorsey tweeted that he went on a birthday trip to a meditation retreat in Myanmar and promoted the country as a tourist destination. Many users replied to his tweets, pointing out the human rights crisis in the country. At the time, the Myanmar military cracked down on the Rohingya minority. The persecution included random killings and rapes and was classified as ethnic cleansing by human rights organizations. Dorsey replied to his followers, I am aware of the human rights atrocities and suffering in Myanmar. I don't view visiting, practicing or talking with the people as endorsement. I didn't intend to diminish by not raising the issue, but could have acknowledged that I don't know enough and need to learn more. It's one thing to show your travel pictures to a few friends. Sharing them with the entire world can have more severe consequences. Surely Jack Dorsey knows this by now. What do you think about the Tech Titan? Let us know in the comments and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe to get all the latest tech and digital lifestyle news.